We live in challenging times. Never before have we been asked to face so many changes so fast. Changes that will determine the future of humankind and the planet. Economic crisis, climate change, resource depletion, exploding populations, weapons of mass destruction, the growing gap between privileged and poor. The choices we face are complex, the challenges daunting, and the possibilities immense. Right now, there's a huge consensus that we are at a crossroads, that what we're doing must change, and it must change dramatically. We're at a defining moment of history. We've created problems that we need to solve, but we have to solve them from different thinking than the thinking that actually created those problems in the first place. Now is the time for transformation. It means to alter one's composition, to become something materially different. Not just changed, remade. People transform. So do organizations, companies, societies. History is full of leaders who transformed themselves and then changed the world. A conservative lawyer, Gandhi was radicalized by racial prejudice. He threw off his middle-class life to embrace nonviolent protest, challenge British rule, and successfully lead India to independence. Eleanor Roosevelt overcame profound shyness to become a world leader. This universal declaration of human rights. Tirelessly advocating for human rights, inclusion, and empowerment. A poor student who stuttered and lisped, Winston Churchill barely made it into Britain's Royal Military Academy. Yet he single-mindedly transformed himself into a brilliant speaker. Is it possible they do not realize that we shall never cease to persevere against Nobel Prize winning author and Great Britain's most revered Prime Minister. Born into a prosperous family, Mother Teresa gave up everything she knew and loved to care for Calcutta's poor. Despite profound self-doubts about her own level of faith, she beautifully modeled compassion and reverence for every human life. A college dropout and business maverick, Steve Jobs brought his personal search for enlightenment to the world of computers. His empowerment of staff and customers is legend. He redefined our use of personal technology, thereby transforming our world. I don't believe there's any single process to becoming a transformational leader. Some people begin at their personal transformation. They want to be their best, and they know that being their best requires they go through painful changes that make them something that they never were. Other people find themselves in leadership positions. They never thought much about anything else, but they begin caring about a cause, an organization, or something else, and that causes them to care so much that they put themselves in the crucible of change and become transformational leaders. What defines a transformational leader? They are people who, in pursuit of a higher mission, transform themselves, their staff, their constituents, their community, and their world. They're dedicated to some higher vision, to possibilities for themselves and the people that they're leading. They transform their own lives. They transform themselves. They transform their staff, their employees, their constituents, their communities, their vendors, their suppliers, the people that they have contact with, and ultimately, through ripple effects, the entire world. The old model of leadership is the act of getting work done through others, but that doesn't go far enough. Transformational leaders get work done with others, creating success through shared vision, inspiration, universal empowerment, and commitment to higher values. They know the entire organization must be transformed in pursuit of their common goal. Any person has the opportunity to become a transformational leader. The truth is we are all leaders. We're all leading all the time.
Recently, experts in human behavior have analyzed and distilled the qualities that define transformational leaders. This wisdom is ready to share, to be developed further, to be taught, and to change us. This is the mission of the Foundation for Transformational Leadership. Transformational leaders are needed now more than ever. Transformational thinking is what's needed and transformational leadership to generate that transformational thinking. New ideas, creative solutions, new possibilities, ways of doing things we've never done before. That's the tremendous opportunity that we have at this defining moment. We stand at a crossroads in human history. We face problems without precedent. A planet choking on too much waste and too little time. People with too much anger and too little hope. But we also see promise we can't ignore. Technologies that bring us closer, that leverage our strengths, and encourage us to engage on a level never before seen. This is our peril and our potential to go further than we've ever been. To meet this moment in history, the Foundation for Transformational Leadership has been formed to partner with the Wright Institute for the Realization for Human Potential because transformational times call for transformational leaders.